this video has been long overdue in every definition of those words. I found a couple caps that looked pretty leaky. There's a couple more in there that we need to replace. Basically, we're just going to replace those caps and then look at the ripple on the 3.3 volt rail. Hey, And that's about 200, 400, about 500 millivolts of ripple. That is not great. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's the maximum this says for 3.3? Uh, it says 18 amps on 3.3 as well. So I guess we'll just keep pushing it. We'll go up to 1 amp. And it looks like we got there. Looking at the control application. Looks like we got there. So what does our ripple say? Different wave shape. Almost identical magnitude. <laughs> yeah. That's true, this one's old. The caps could be starting to go bad on the 3.3. Three. That, that could be a fun little side project. Recap this power supply, actually switch it out and, and see what we see. That could be really fun. I think that'd be a lot of fun. in 5.1 volts, 12.05, 3.3. 3 is the one that I really want to look at. Looks like that's off on the left here. I'm gonna try to get this captured with minimal funny business. That ripple, uh, assuming that's actually the ripple, looks a lot better now that our caps aren't leaky. Now that the caps are fresh, oh my goodness, okay, but let's uh, AC couple this. We know it's right around 3.3. We don't need the scope for that. That's not even what scopes are made to measure. But yeah, let's put some cursors on this. Um, we got a 3.3 volt rail, so tolerance plus ripple within 10% would be pretty great. If we give 5% of that to tolerance, 5% ripple would seem like a reasonable design target. Looks like what we're picking up is a ripple 62 hertz. Mm-mm. That doesn't seem right for a 3.3 volt rail. I would expect kilohertz. Um, yeah, but at any rate, what's our magnitude here? Our magnitude is 68 millivolts. At least the amplitude makes sense. This could be a light load thing that we're observing yeah there is no that's real because we can see the switching noise and we can see that drifting up and down so I have no idea what that is do we see that on the other rails as well yes we do 
So maybe that's something like the big caps on the front end aren't great. I wonder if loading this will have an impact. I'm going to power on our uh, electronic load. All right, there we are. Now we're looking at the 5-volt rail. We're going to step an amp on it. There we go. <laughs> Got, uh, yeah, right around 5 watts. That is a strange characteristic they've got there. Seems seems like a part of the PFC. The fact that it's right on that 60 hertz time scale. It's 62. What would 60 hertz look like? I could convince myself that's 60 hertz. What do you think? Let me know, know down in the comments if you can convince yourself that's 60 hertz. I can't imagine what else that would be. Right, that looks like... Yeah. The 5 volt rail. Alright, so now we've got our 5 amp load. 25 watts going into that resistor. Hopefully this fan and heatsink can keep up. At least for a little while. It's not immediately getting crazy hot, so we'll just try to work quickly. Uh, what do we have here? We've got 5 amps. Let's try to drop that on the 3.3. And, yeah, we're getting 5 amps on the 3.3 as well. Sweet. So, yeah. Um, that looks fine. Moving our scope probe down over. This is super sketchy. I'm thankful for protection circuits. Okay, so now 3.3 looks nice and flat. Um, and that time scale, which will allow us to see the ripple. I would love to sacrifice a uh, BNC cable to the cause and get a better image with less noise. It's not great. Turns out, having output capacitance makes power supplies work better. Who would have thought? <laughs> uh, while we're here, I'll just do a last check of voltages under load. 12 volts is at the lightest load right now. It's in at 12.14 volts. 5 volt rail is sitting at 5 quite precisely. 3.3 5 amp load. We're sitting at 3.28 volts. So, yeah, that seems about right. Um, so, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. <laughs> this honestly was not that much effort. This really should not have taken me this long. But, I mean, we've been doing all kinds of fun stuff, right? We've been building the SD monitors and talking about Class AB amplifiers, working on community edition electronic load. So, this just kind of got the back burner and was waiting for a day where we had a moment. So if you like this video and you can't wait for more, don't forget to hit that like button and get subscribed because this is not our last project and we've got a lot more exciting content coming to EE for everyone. A few more circuit boards in the mail, a couple more projects to kick off. Yeah, special thanks to our Patreon members. Thanks for supporting us directly and making awesome videos like this one possible. But most of all, thanks for watching EE for everyone and thank you for staying till the end. Bye.